chapter one, two years after the decennial celebration. The nest, low orbit, Zephyr 5. Lieutenant Commander Johnny Rangers sat on the walk bridge with his feet up on the guardrail, watching the silver and black roiling clouds roll past below the hovering nest. He was drifting and listening to the steady sound of his breathing through his respirator when Officer Chibbled's voice came over the headset. I think I got something, guys. The sensors are pinging like hell. It looks like a... The electrical storm below the clouds gobbled up the comms, so Rangers didn't catch what Chibble said next. He was joined shortly by General Hilt, who looked like he was smiling behind his mask. Rangers looked up at Hilt. What did Chibble say? Looks like a cluster coming from the sensors we dropped in the caverns earlier, Hilt said. You want to go down and take a look? Of course, Hilt would say that. He always says that. First one in, last one out. You think someone survived that down there? There's only one way to find out. Hilt called into his calm and ordered junior officers Horace and Muggins and the Ramp Rats to ready his shuttle. Are we really doing this? Rangers asked with no expectation of Hilt saying no. You know how I feel about flying in that lunchbox. Yep, Hilt said, already on his way to the launch pad. And don't let Judith hear you call her a lunchbox. You'll hurt her feelings. Feelings. Uh-huh. Rangers climbed the steps to the launch pad with Hilt. Is she all fueled up, Bolts? Hilt asked the half-sized robotic engineer readying Judith for launch. <laughs>